Hey everybody, this is me, MC Gamer, and you are now tuned in to a Let's Play Wind Waker. On the last episode of Wind Waker, we did the Korok quest, where we went around to all of the little islands and helped them with their spring water. Since then, my water became normal water, and I emptied it out out of my bottle because it was useless. Now we have a th we're going to deal with this girl who works at the shop. Shh, shh, take off, go away. So, the second you start taking off, where does she go? She starts being sneaky. But luckily, you are Metal Gear Link. Dun, 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 boom, 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 boom. So we shall follow her and ensure that she is up to good things only. And not evil things. But she is a proper girl. Who is only trying to make minimum wage at the shop inside the store now owned by the very rich Eskimo man that does auctions in the middle of the night. Of course. She could be deceiving us all. But only time shall tell, friends. got me um uh, we have to redo this one second What? How did she detect me? Ah. Ha ha! Ha You startled me! What do you want? My heart is racing, you scared me! Wait, are you the kind of creep who goes around at night scaring people? That's just plain mean. Just who do you think you are anyway? An ally of justice! A what? An ally of justice? I'm not a thief. I swear, I haven't stolen anything. Well, yet. Please let me go. It was just an impulse, that's all. Just a bad idea. Why won't you say anything? Does this mean you're still mad at me? Could you at least listen to the circumstances about my life has led up to this moment? Please, you owe me that much. Sure. I was once the richest little debutante in this town. Did you know that? But one day, a monstrous bird came and took me away to a terrible place called the Forsaken Fortress, where I was locked up and held captive. Oh, it was awful. My father spent every last rupee in his coffers in an attempt to get me rescued. That's right, every last bit of our family fortune gone. That was when my life of poverty began. And every day from morning until night, I'm busy working for the open air shop. So as you can see, at least I'm not trying to settle into my poor life now. Doesn't that just tug at your heartstrings? What do you say about the tragic events in my pitiable life? That's terrible. And to make matters worse, for some reason I still can't figure out that slob Maggie, who was the poorest girl in town, suddenly got filthy rich. Maggie, of all people. It makes me so mad that I want to do something terrible. Grr. Do you understand my plight? Very well. Then you'll let me go? Unfortunately, no. But why not? Because I'm honest. It's true. I know I'm quibbling over nothing. But being so poor weakens a person's very soul. But it's time I quit making some excuse to myself. Thank you so much. Thanks to you, I didn't have to sink to the level of a common thief. I'll never do anything like that again. Ah, oh, what an amazing feeling. I've let all my worries out of my heart. Well, I actually feel refreshed. At least let me thank you. Please take this. It's the fourth bottle of the game and the last bottle of the game. Yes, so she gives away her only treasure, an empty bottle. So I feel happy. Okay. Oh, go, go away. Quiet. No problem. You may escape. And then a cop comes up and arrests Link. No. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, let's see. There's... Yes. Okay, so let's go into the rich person's house. Uh, apparently Maggie was her name. Hey. 
You there, Holt. Oh, you're just some wretched street urchin. I thought you were the postman. Be thankful, because if you were the postman, I would have shooed you out of my hair before you could say poop. But say, you look rather familiar for a street urchin. Have we perhaps met before someplace? Yes. You are old man creepy guy. So let's go talk to Maggie. Oh, to think that I would survive this ordeal and return to this town, and to think that I would ever be able to live in such a beautiful, opulent house. It's like a dream come true. Hmm, but no. No, it's a nightmare. Without him by my side, it's like a rainstorm. The rage is in my heart. He was so kind to me in the Forsaken Fortress. That sweet boy who gave me all those expensive necklaces when I fled from that cursed island. Just hearing his name fills my sprites. Mo, the wonderful Moblin from the Forsaken Fortress. Oh, Mo, I know. I'm always running on to that letters with my own emotions, but why don't you answer me, Mo? Oh, God. This is bad. Oh, so terribly bad. I've already drifted into my own dream world. Oh, by the way, I have a request for you. Could you take this letter I finished inking and deliver it to the post box for me? Please, I beg of you. Sure. What? Really? You're such a dear. You've made De Maggie so happy. Okay. I will mail that very nicely for you. In addition, I have a gift for you. She said she liked necklaces and moblins. Well, I just so happen to have some of those. Why, this trinket's just like... This is one of the necklaces the Mo gave me. So many so many of when I was searching them for second fortress. It was by selling these for cash that my father and I were finally able to escape from poverty. Do you want them? Oh, give the, let's see if he wants them, perhaps. <laughs> eh? This is one of the skull necklaces that my daughter Maggie bought back from the Forsaken Fortress. These sell quite well at antique shops. In fact, when it came to blah, blah, I'm so rich. 20 of them. You do? I'll take them. And so he'll give us a treasure chart for 20 necklaces. So that's just fantastic. <laughs> And he's just so darn crazy. So we're going to help him out by mailing the letter. Or her out by mailing her letter for her. To the post box. The mailman saved our lives. Now we're going to uh, make them work. So let's just... Here you go, mailbox. Postage is five rupees. All right, awesome. So I'm gonna go uh, tell her that I mailed it. And she should be very happy. Her father though, maybe not so much. Oh wait, did I spoil things? Just maybe, just a little. Uh-oh. Honestly, you just don't understand, do you? Open up your ears. Yeah. Silence! I'm telling you we don't allow postman here. Be gone, be gone. Don't be ridiculous. I went through the great trials and tribulations to go all the way to the Forsaken Fortress and return with Moe's letter. Silence! Be gone, be gone! Then please, be reasonable. Can you at least sign for the letter? Silence! Be gone, be gone! Just acknowledge I was here. Yeah. Silence, be gone, be gone. Rock for us, man. Now you've made me angry. I cannot even look you in the face any longer. Why, I fear I might. Must go somewhere to cool my feathers. Well, what a wretched and really postman. I don't know about many Mr. Mo in any forsaken fortress, and yet he always comes here bringing his letters. Does this Mo think I'll let him lay a hand on one of my own, my one and only daughter Maggie? I don't care whose letters they are, they'll never reach her on my watch. Well, I am gonna go and deliver them because I'm not a mailman, but I own a delivery bag. 
And that's what proper boys do. They violate father's wishes by giving their daughters mail. Or something. Something along those lines. I'm not quite sure. So, if I was going to go cool my feathers, I'd go to the bar. <laughs> and here he is. Oh, it's you. I'm sorry you had to witness me fly off the handle like that at Maggie's house. I'm most embarrassed. That man just... Never mind. Tell you the truth, though. I came to deliver a letter just to Maggie from a moblin named Mo, but as I, you saw, the girl's stubborn father won't permit me to get it. What a stone meddling man, refusing to accept letters from the postman. Who's heard of such nonsense? I went to great trouble to go all the way to the Forsaken Fortress. It was the most frightening ordeal, let me tell you. If I don't deliver this letter, then I'm a failure with the delivery trade. But I have other deliveries waiting to be made. I cannot mope here forever. Actually, though, I have an idea. That old fool may not permit postmen on his premises, but I surely will allow you in his place, would he not? Could you deliver this letter to Maggie in my steed? What do you say? I'll do it. Honestly, blah blah blah, have the letter. You got the Moblin's letter. This letter has a sort of stink to it. So he thanks me. So thank you, uh, postman, who has a very stunning voice, similar to a centaur. Anyway. So I'm going to go and give this to Maggie now. And then I'm just going to have to call it an episode. Because we are running out of time. Oh. But what a joyous night it is out inside Windfall Island. I haven't seen a night like this since... Oh, my youth. Anyway. Hello, sir. I'm not a mailman. Ignore me and my delivery bag. Have a letter. Ah! Is that? Could it be? The letter from Mo that I saw in my dreams? Let me read it this instant. Um, this is Mo. I like you, Maggie. So much that I want to eat you for dinner. Did you hear that? Those words? This means, I mean, it must mean, can it be? <laughs> Is this his marriage proposal? It must be, at last my feelings have been conveyed to Mo. At last he understands how I feel. This is the happiest day of my life. <laughs> From here on out today will be the anniversary of true love for me and Mo. Oh, it completely slipped my mind. I must thank you for your role in this. To commemorate my anniversary true love, I give you these. And a piece of heart. How representative of love. <laughs> uh, treasure it always. <laughs> no problem. Alright, everyone. That is the end of Wind Waker, in my opinion. I've been playing this game for quite a while, and I'm tired. So, um, thank you all for watching Wind Waker. As always, make sure that you... Uh, like and comment on the video and subscribe. You can always ask me questions over at my Form Spring account. I have a Twitter and Facebook if you want to keep up with me at any time and all of my happenings. So uh, thank you again, um, and I love every one of my viewers. So make sure you know that every day that you are awesome. So I will see you guys next time on Winmaker where we will take care of some more side quests and such. I'll talk to you guys later.